Okay, so I'm here with uh, Nick Brax and he had his uh, first sort of memory training session. Tell us a bit about, um, yeah, what's, what's going on, what, what you've learned. So I've learned, um, I'm, I'm trying to learn how to, how to really uh, associate, you know, imagery with, with um, the acting that I'm doing. I'm, I've been uh, pursuing acting for a while and I really want to become, ha have more association with the scene and be able to really see images. And recently met Tansel, I've seen a lot of the work he's done and pretty fascinated by it. Uh, so I thought it would be a great opportunity to, to be able to consult him on, on how I can put this into practice. And uh, already my, my mind's actually spinning with a whole lot of ideas. I can, um, I'm pretty excited about the concepts that he's given me to put into practice. And I'm, I'm really excited to try and approach these uh, scenes in this way, because the application for, um, for these memory techniques with acting uh, is, is huge. And also with um, you know, my other passion, mental health, uh, in that area, I think with improving people's mindset and, and overcoming different issues with depression, anxiety, uh, issues that come up under that mental health area, uh, there's an enormous application for it and, you know, really fascinating session. So I've, I've had a great time and looking forward to uh, reporting back on, on uh, how it goes putting it into practice. Yeah, now uh, we, we talked about memory techniques quite a bit and a lot of people think memory is just for remembering stuff. And we've done you know, a bit of recording. Uh, just from your experience, uh, how have you found memory for you know, mental health and you know, what you're just talking about now? Well, I think um, a lot of the time with mental health, we, become, we can get stuck in a rut because we're feeding ourselves the same story over and over again. And a lot of the time that story is not even necessarily true. So I think it really, you know, being able to break down that thinking pattern, being able to, to use techniques like memorization or, you know, anything in that category to, to just really, you know, change this, this rut that we're in and, and create new thinking patterns. And I think a lot of this creative thinking uh, links in with that because creating new thinking patterns opens up our mind to, instead of one scenario, one cut and dry scenario, there's endless scenarios. And uh, I think, the, yeah, I'm probably not explaining it um, as well as maybe Tansel or someone you know who's well versed in this area of memorization could, but I think it's it's just such a, a big thing and, and it can help to um, yeah break those habits in in so many ways. Matt, love your passion. Thanks so much, and wishing you all the best. Thank you. Cheers.